Hey guys, BJ here from BJ'sTechReviews.com and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new Apple iPhone 5, iPod Touch, iPod Nano, and the ever-expected iOS 6. Okay, so the new iPhone is out. What does this mean for you? Well, pre-orders open on September 14th and shipping starts on September 21st. The prices will be the same as the iPhone 4S. The iPhone will feature a 4-inch Retina display and will have 326 pixels per inch and a pixel dimension of 1136 by 640. The iPhone will now have a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and will have 44% more color saturation. What does this mean? It means better movie viewing. For apps that use the dimensions of the old iPhone, there will be two black bars around the sides of the app to prevent stretching or scaling. The iPhone home screen will now feature an extra row of apps, and the iPhone itself will be 18% thinner and 20% lighter than the iPhone 4S. This is partly because the touch sensors of the device are now in the screen itself. The back side of the device now has a two-tone look having a no-gloss matte finish for the black and a brushed aluminum on the white. The iPhone features a new A6 processor which has the functionality to double the speed for apps and games from the A5. 4G LTE is also available from Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon. The back camera stays at 8 megapixels while the front is at 1.2. However, the camera does have a couple of new features like the low light feature for better photos in bad lighting conditions and also features a panorama mode where you can capture multiple shots and be able to stitch them together for a large 28 megapixel image. The battery life estimates for the device are as follows. 8 hours for 3G talk, 8 hours for 3G browse, 8 hours for LTE browse, 10 hours for Wi-Fi browse, 10 hours for video playback, 40 hours for music playback, and 225 hours for standby. The iPhone now features FaceTime calls over 3G. It has a new mini dock connector called the Lightning port, which is 80% smaller than before, and also has a smaller SIM card. An additional microphone has also been added for a total of three, one on the bottom, one on the front, and one on the back. The iPhone can also capture 1080p video with the back lens and 720p with the front. And also, the speaker has 5 magnets, up from 2 before, and this gives us better audio and 20% less space taken up. There's also a new wideband audio feature. Now that's basically it for the iPhone, except for iOS 6 of course, but I'll get to that later in the video. Now moving on to the iPod Touch. Okay, so the iPod Touch. It is now available for pre-order, not like the iPhone, you can pre-order it right now. It is $299 for the 32 gig and $399 for the 64 gig. It looks like they have scrapped the 16 gig for this version. Now there's a new 4 inch retina screen similar if not the same as the iPhone 5 included. And there's a 5 megapixel camera capable of 1080p video on the back. Siri is now included in the iPod Touch as well. And the new design is trimmed down with aluminum and a choice of 5 colors. That's right. Five colors like the iPod Nano, five colors for the body. Black, white, pink, yellow, or blue. Moving on to the iPod Nano, which will be available in October for $149. It has a slim down design at 5 millimeters, a display up to 2.5 inches in size, that's a big increase, a new FM tuner, support for Bluetooth headphones, and it comes in seven colors. Okay, so now moving on to iOS 6, keep in mind that not all features are available for all devices. Now I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the new features and uh, what is most popular. Offline maps for navigation along with flyover 3D mapping. Shared photo stream to share pictures with other devices and comment on them. VIP list for marking people as important so that they show up specially. Offline reading for saving a web page to read later. Siri also gets an upgrade. She will now be able to give you the scores for the game and tell you what movies are playing. She can also launch apps for you and give you better directions than before. Now, in addition to the iPhone and iPod Touch, Siri will also be available on the iPad 3. Hey guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my blog if you want some more, bjstechreviews.com. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll try to keep you guys posted.